Here with Daniel Cormier, who obviously takes on Stipe Miocic and UFC 226 tomorrow, and we thought it was going to be a low drama morning since it was a heavyweight fight for you, but yesterday you took a little bit of a spill. What happened there at the end of the press <laughs> conference yesterday? Well, there was a speaker behind my chair, so when I got out and turned, I didn't know I didn't notice it was there. You know, like at the weigh-ins, the music's playing, and the guys are walking on stage. I think that was that speaker, but it was right behind my chair, so. Either I turned out the wrong way, or I, I don't know. But somehow I tripped over that speaker and uh, and fell down. Uh, you went down kind of hard. It was a loud noise when, when the body hit the floor. It was my belt. My belt, my belt went flying, so it made it seem a lot worse than it was. The belt went flying across the floor, so it was like, that's why it sounded so loud. But uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm ready to go. Okay, well, because this, this weekend has been cursed a few years in the past. Yeah. When you went down, that was the first thought that everybody had. But you are healthy, no, no injuries, everything. I'm healthy, good to go. I had a scratch on my shit. That's it. I mean, yeah, I'm good to go. Well, let's get to the weight then. Uh, moving up in weight, 246 pounds, you just got off the scale. Was that what you were targeting? Is that about what you thought you'd be? Well, initially, we were going to try to fight around 230, like I normally would when I fight at 205. But... Uh, when I started training camp, I was having trouble training with the extra weight. But then once I started to get in shape, I, I got my, my speed picked up. I started moving very fluid. And when I was hitting people, it was having an effect on me, like something I hadn't done at 205 in a long time. And uh, Bob, Hob, and, and Rosendo, those guys were like, let's just stay heavy. They're like, let's not lose any weight. Let's fight as a heavyweight. We're going to fight heavyweight because at this weight, when you hit people, they feel it. So I was like, okay, let's do it. So. We just kind of been uh, just doing whatever. You know, I, I still have my nutritionist in. Ian Larios from Lockhart Lee was there. And, and uh, he, he fed me good, clean food, good fuel, but I wasn't trying to lose any weight. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, anytime a champion moves up a, a division to face another champion, we're talking about weight, but you've been in there with big guys yeah. before. Josh Barnett, uh, John Jones is yeah. a real big guy. How, how much bigger do you feel Stipe is truly than you when you stand next to him? Well, I mean... He, he's, he's a big guy, you know, but, you know, he's not a six foot four guy that's built like a seven foot one guy. That's what Jones is. Jones is essentially a seven foot guy with his reach and his legs. Uh, but Stipe feels like a true guy that's about six four, like Josh Barnett, you know. Arms are about as long as you would expect for a guy that's six four. Um, he looks so big because he's got a really big head, but that's just a bigger target for me to hit. All right, Dan, how does it get done? Tomorrow night, you season 26. I just fight, man. I go beat Daniel Cormier. You know, um, when I fight the way that I'm supposed to fight, I get my hand raised. I've done it at every turn, and and uh, I feel very confident that after tomorrow night, I'll be the UFC heavyweight champion.